As the Navy's top brass welcomes the newest member to its fleet, the celebration may be short-lived because of new concerns about shipbuilding in the port city. Local 15's Jasmine Williams has the details. Champagne, christenings, and ceremonies. All familiar sights around town. A sign that a new ship is ready for sea. A symbol of growth for Austell and a wave of hope for the workforce. It's what's so important is for the men and women that are having jobs in Mobile and what it means to our local economy. 4,000 people are working here at Austell. They make the LCS and the joint high-speed vessel. Um, but it's also very important to the Navy. USS Jackson is the newest naval vessel to be added to the fleet. Made in Mobile, the littoral combat ship is one of the first also built as the prime contractor. And with budget cuts looming, there could be fewer on the horizon. The Pentagon has proposed shrinking the budget to eliminate 20 of the planned vessels. U.S. Navy Secretary Ray Mabus says the potential cuts are simply a part of the process. You've got to take cost into account and you've got to take delivery time to the fleet into account because we have to have um, a large number of these small surface combatants that, that LCS represents. Here they represent more than just celebrations. The ships mean prosperity and jobs all along the Gulf Coast. <laughs> That was Jasmine Williams reporting. Now we do have.